guys, welcome back to Speedy Pie Pets. Well, we have some good news. You might guess what it is. And we also have some not so good news, some very tragic news actually. So we have a litter of brand new born four little Sweetie Pies. Oh my gosh, look at them. They look like the colors of the rainbow. We have three boys and one girl. And these puppies are only a couple of days old and unfortunately their mommy did not make it through the birthing process. We lost their mommy. Breeding is a very delicate process and I only do it under strict medical supervision, but even so sometimes there are risks. So we are definitely grieving the loss of our precious Anna. She was such a sweet girl. And now we are faced with the monumental task of raising four newborn puppies from birth all the way up to the point where they can start eating solid food. So that also is a very delicate process. And if any of you are wondering what to do with orphan puppies, I definitely wanna recommend this little thing here. It's called a miracle nipple. So the miracle nipple is just this little rubber nipple. And I think it comes in different sizes. Of course, I got the smallest size. Even though this is the smallest size, it looks kind of big because that little point I mean, gosh, I just their little mouths are so tiny, but it actually works perfectly. And it's a great way to feed them a very slow, steady stream of milk. So of course you would just take the formula and you would draw it up in your eyedropper and then you pick up the puppy and you very, very carefully have to slowly, oh, big yawn, big yawn, very slowly have to um, let the puppy suck on the nipple and, while you kind of press and let the formula come out. If you guys are ever faced with the task of having to nurse newborn puppies, I'm going to put the Miracle Nipple in my Amazon store, so you can check that out. I'll put the link in the description below. It's just amazon.com slash shop slash Sweetie Pie Pets. Now, when puppies are first born, they before they get milk from their mommy, they actually drink this stuff called colostrum. And basically all it is, before mommy's milk comes in, her body produces this stuff that's just kind of vitamins and minerals and antibodies to help the puppies have some immune reaction and hopefully be strong and healthy. But after 24 to 48 hours, the mommy's milk comes in and that's when the puppies would need to start eating actually the calories from mommy's milk. Or in this case, since we don't have mommy's milk, they have to drink puppy formula. This puppy is trying to nurse off my finger. Are you really hungry? Wow. So unfortunately, since I did not have any colostrum, I was able to find a product called Reborn, and it's actually bovine colostrum from cows, but it's for sale in my local feed store, and it actually says right on the label that you can use it for puppies and kittens and other small animals. So I was nervous about it. I was nervous that it would be the right product, but I didn't really have any other options. I knew my puppies needed to get colostrum. So for the first 24 hours, we fed them bovine colostrum using the Miracle Nipple, and the puppies really thrived off of it, and they have done well. I swear they've already grown twice the size they were from the day they were born three days ago. So hand feeding the puppies with an eyedropper is very, very time consuming. And of course these puppies cannot go very long between mealtime. They have to eat every three hours all throughout the day and night. So it's an exhausting, tedious task to feed four puppies very slowly and carefully with this little eyedropper. So I wanted to find a new product that would hopefully help to speed up the process of feeding these puppies. And I found this really cool puppy feeding station. This thing is made out of silicone and it has a really interesting texture, almost like the feeling of skin. So I thought, wow, what a cool product that hopefully the puppies will take to and it will be much faster to feed them. Now this particular one I bought at a clinic and it was extremely expensive, but I have since then found some on Amazon and I'm gonna put the link in the description below for those as well. They basically are the same product, they're just shaped a little bit different, but I'm sure that they would work just the same and they're also much cheaper than this one. Now, when I very first tried to get the puppies to eat off of this, they were only about two days old and they really didn't like the feeling of it. it, it I think it was a little bit bigger than the Miracle Nipple possibly and they just kind of weren't quite getting it. The other thing that I noticed is that it sits kind of too far down to the ground and the puppies weren't able to get their head down. So I had to kind of prop it up on something so it was a little bit higher. But as they've grown and gotten a little bit older, they've gotten better and better at eating off of this thing and now it's super fast to feed them. I swear I just put them right on there and within about one minute they have these fat huge full bellies it's so adorable
So dogs' body temperature is warmer than humans. Ours is 98.6, but dogs' temperature is 100 to 102. So if you're feeding your puppies formula, you wanna make sure that you have the temperature just right. They don't really like it if it's much colder than that, and of course you don't wanna make it any hotter than that because you could burn them. So making sure that the puppies eat and are thriving and growing is only part of taking care of them. They also have to be cleaned and kept warm. And ooh, big yawn. That in itself is a big task. They need to be stimulated so that they will go potty and that's typically done by mommy. She licks them clean and it stimulates them to go to the bathroom. And since they don't have a mommy, I am so lucky to have Grandma Reina who loves to help out. I've showed all of you guys Grandma Reina before and every time I have a new puppy, she always wants to take over and treat it like her own. So she has really been a lifesaver helping to keep the puppies clean. Can you hear the puppy? <laughs> so of course I'm gonna be posting pictures and updates of these guys on all my social media accounts. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Kelly Swift Sweetie Pie Pets and on TikTok at Sweetie Pie Pets. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and click the like button and also click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting the beautiful newborns. We're gonna do our very best to make sure that they have a good, happy start in life in spite of their terrible tragedy. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye.